Hello, welcome everyone and welcome to my channel, The Common Math. My name is Thiman Goswami and in today's question, like in today's video, we're going to be looking at this question and this also pertains to, you know, cat. So let's just delve right into it. So what does the question say? So that it says that x equals to 4096 power 714 root 3, then which of the following equals 64? So if you want to try it on yourself, then just pause the video and try it. And otherwise, I'm just going to solve it right away now. So it says what 64 equal to first. So therefore, 64 has to come out from this. So 4096 actually, 4096 is the power of 2, you know. So it's actually 2 power 12. You can easily calculate that. Okay. So it's very handy. To remember what the powers of 2 are. So I'm quickly writing in on the side. So 2 power 1 is 2. That's no brainer. 2 power 2 is 4. 2 power 3 is 8. 2 power 4 is 16. 2 power 5 is 32. 2 power 6 is 64. So this one will be requiring in this question. And the rest of it is also very easy to find out. So 2 power 7. So it's very easy to understand if you are a computer geek, you know. If you remember, the our RAMs have uh, RAM in our computer, you know, progress in this manner. So RAM or ROM. So they have got, you know, 32 GB in it, 64 GB, and 2 power 7 is 128. So 128 GB space. So you can just remember it like that as well. So those are in powers of 2 since that is binary. So we won't get into that right now. So this is how we get into this. So 2 power 8 is 256, 2 power 9 is very easy to guess, 512, and 2 power 10 is 1024, okay? And 2 power 11 is 2048, and 2 power 12 is 2, sorry, 4096. So easy peasy, right? So now, since we know that, Two power, okay, let me just change the color of the pen. Since we know that two power six is equals to 64. So that's the reason why we're gonna convert this equation in that form, in that manner, okay? So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna look at this like this. We have, we have, we have, we have x equals to 2 power 6 whole square power 7 plus 4 root 3. We can write it, we can write this like this actually. So since we can write it like this, so what can we write it next? We can write it like this. So x equals to 64 power. 2 into 7 plus 4 root 3. Now the problem is if we just take it to the other side, since this is a power, right? This is power, this is exponents. So when you take the exponents to the other side, it becomes it becomes 1 by of that exponent. So let me just explain it quickly. So if we have x square equals to y, so if you want to shift this exponent to the other side, it becomes x equals to y power 1 by 2. Are you getting it? This 2 becomes 1 by 2 here. So if we take it like that, then this becomes, in this case, x power 1 by 2 times of 7 plus 4 root 3. But this is not going to help us, right? When it becomes in fraction in our, uh, when uh, uh, we have, uh, you know, a fraction in our uh, exponent, so then we cannot do much about the denominator here. So in that case, what can we do here is, see, now we have co completely converted. So we have 64 equals to in this form, right? So we need to find some way that we can move, you know, um, this irrational part, the seven plus four root three part, some way we can, you know, come take it to the top of it. We said to the numerator of the uh, exponent. So let's try and do that. What can we do here is we can try 
So you see seven plus four root three, we can simply do a rationalization. So how can we do that? So we have X power one by two times of seven plus four root three. So just multiply seven minus four root three to the denominator as well as the numerator. Seven minus four root three. Okay, is it clear now? So now seven plus four root three and seven minus four root three, that is in a square minus b square form, right? Since it is in a square minus b square form, we can make it further ago. Now see, all this understanding is clear. So I'm just taking, clearing it off. Let's just take it from here. So x power one by, we had two times of seven plus four root three into seven minus four root three by seven minus four root three. I can write it like this, right? So this was equals to 64, right? So now what we can write it further is that, so this part is 64. So now this we can write it as X power. Now I said A square minus B square can be applied. So what will we get? In the bottom, we'll get two times of seven square, right? We'll get seven square minus four root three whole square. And in the numerator, there is going to be seven minus four root three. So this is equals to X power seven minus four root three by two times seven square is 49 and four root three is nothing but four four j is 16 and 16 times of three root three into root three is three so 16 times three is going to be and 16 times three is 48 so therefore this becomes x power seven minus four root three by two that's all so now if you further, do, you know, uh, separate it, it's going to look like X power seven by two minus two root three. It's going to look like this. Now using uh, exponents, we know that, right? Exponents, if we have in exponents, if we have so A power X, Y, then we can write it as A power X into A power Y, right? So we're going to use that here. So we can write this as x power seven by two into x power minus two root three. Now, since this is minus two root three, so this can be written as a reciprocal. So therefore our answer turns to x power seven by two divided by x power two root three. That's it. So this is the answer, C is our answer. I hope it was useful. If you need some more guidance and advice on how to, you know, work with exponents and how to, you know, these, these kind of formulations, the arrow which I've put right now, you know, if you want a quick revision through that, then just toss a comment below and I might, I will surely definitely make another video on it. So thank you for watching. If you have any further doubts, then do join my Telegram channel. This is known as the Common Call. The link is in the description below. Just join it. So put a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have a nice day.